I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. I can't believe I haven't done a video on this already. Maybe I have, just can't remember. But somebody asked me about supersetting. Now, if you like supersetting, have at it. You don't need to watch the rest of the video. If you're getting results from supersetting, have at it. You don't need to watch the rest of the video. But my experience and my thoughts on supersetting are these. You have to remember, our goal is to lift as much weight as possible based on your conditioning and to train as hard as possible creating that intense muscular contraction creating big growth. Now don't confuse hard and difficult with effective. By that I mean this. We have a limited amount of creatine phosphate in our muscles and that is the main energy source that we use when we work out. And when guys take additional creatine, their goal is to supersaturate the muscle so they can get an additional one or two reps and have maybe a little better recovery between sets. When we superset, I'm not crazy about supersetting on big power exercises because with big power exercises, we want to go a little slower so our creatine phosphate regenerates between sets allowing us to handle as much weight as possible. This is very critical on the big exercises that are, that are going to give you the maximum amount of growth and strength results. Big exercises, bench, incline bench, uh, T-bar rows, pull downs, squats, leg press, uh, standing barbell curls, military press, skull crushers, the big basic exercises that allow you to handy, handle heavy weight. Now think about this, you bench press and you incline bench press. Now you're going to go do some dumbbell work. You can do straight sets, let's say you just do dumbbell bench and then you're going to go do some dumbbell flies. By going a little slower and doing straight sets of the dumbbell bench and the fly, you're able to handle a little more weight because there's greater amounts of recovery. If you decide to dumbbell bench and then superset that with a set of flies immediately, it's hard, no doubt but your next successive sets are not going to be as intense. Now they will feel hard and they will be hard, but you're not going to be able to handle as much weight because the muscle is tired. Now somebody's naturally going to say, well yeah Steve, the muscle's tired, it's been worked. Big difference between being worked and it's tired and being worked effectively and it's tired. So my point is, is that when you superset, your strength and your creatine phosphate diminish quickly, therefore not allowing you to handle as much weight as possible. So if you continue to superset with power exercises or secondary exercises, you're not going to have as much available strength and you're probably not going to be as big as you could potentially be. If you enjoy it, have at it. But again, I'd much rather dumbbell bench the 110s and then do flies with the hundreds um, in straight sets rather than bench pressing with the hundreds and then trying to do flies with the 80s and then bench pressing with the 90s supersetting with flies with the 70s and then bench pressing with the 90s and getting fewer sets with the 70s so you can see as you begin to superset you're not going to be able to handle as much weight not a bad thing and if you love it have at it but the point is, is that I enjoy a slower paced workout because it allows my body to regenerate creatine phosphate a little bit better before I jump into the next set. And by supersetting, you exhaust the muscle completely of creatine phosphate and you also tire the muscle out so you can't handle as much weight. That pre-exhaust stuff is great if you enjoy it once in a while, not a problem. Throw some uh, change into your workout, but doing that is not quite as effective as handling bigger weight for straight sets. My opinion, take it for what it's worth. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.